But before, there's something very important that happened before, after me finishing school, secondary school, mm -hmm. and me going to university. University or pre-university? Pre-university. Okay. Okay. So there was a, there was a. So I finished in December. I think pre-university was in April, a few months later. But in January, I think it was in January, I attend a very important conference. Okay. So my aunt. My, my aunt was 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 also an entrepreneur mm. and she she one day she tells me there's this this these guys are coming to kscc to for a seminar three-day seminar mm. do you want to attend and i was like yeah sure so it, i think it was free for me mm. and for everybody had to be, for i think yeah a certain age group you had to pay 200 shillings so i attend and so they had these speakers talking about certain things so one speaker would talk about success it was it was it was it was the theme was how to succeed in different mm, fields fields yeah so one of them was e-commerce the other one was uh, as a speaker the other one was real estate yeah i think those were the three uh, fundamentals they were, talk they were focusing on and i have never been so fascinated man and i was very young so I attend these things and the day I attend, I attended I think only one day, there's, they're talking about e-commerce mm. and this guy jumps on stage and speaks about how you can, excuse me, speaks about how you can uh, become successful by selling stuff on eBay. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And here I am, uh, first of all, trying to figure out, I think I knew what eBay was. Mm. Uh, ish. <laughs> wow, I just remembered something. Think about I knew what eBay was, but uh, I didn't know it in depth. So I, that's when all the research started. Mm. But by the time uh, that conference was, was done. You were like, eBay it is. I eBay. was like, you know what? E-commerce, eBay. This is it. So I was going to be two things. Either a writer, I was going to write books, mm. or e-commerce. And I tried both. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. So the writing part, I did it very, very, I made it very easy, mm. okay? So I, I got a diary, a journal, and I, I called it Wallace Diary. So I would write, I would write, uh, I would write something that happened during that day, half the page, and then the rest, the other half, I would write 10 goals, mm -hmm. okay? And if I didn't achieve these goals that day, I would push them forward to the next day. Yo. Yeah. And I did that every day. You still do that today? No, I don't. I stopped. Okay. <laughs> I did that every day until I had a book. So, for example, you'd write, today, this is what I'm... Yeah, writing. today, yeah. went to class, blah, blah. Yeah. This happened, met this girl, blah, happened, this conversation. And I invited people to write on that journal by the way. Mm. Then after that, you'd write my 10 goals for tomorrow now. Today. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, my 10 goals for tomorrow. If I don't achieve them, yeah. I'll push them to the next day. Jeez. Yeah, and I called it Wallace Diary, handwritten. Uh -huh. Yeah, but as this is happening, I'm uh, I'm, I'm still interested in in, in e-commerce. So I, I I start doing research on how to build a website. Okay? Yeah, because I knew for me to be successful in any e-commerce business, I need a website. Mm. So I couldn't build a website, but I could uh, I could. Uh, focus on I, I could write an ebook mm. so i decided you know what i'm going to convert my my diary into an ebook and try and sell it so <laughs> now i started typing this is the time i think it was 2007 now going to because i finished my secondary school in 2006 uh -huh, okay so now we're in 2007 2007 you've got elections post-election violence ah, yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So at this particular time, I get stuck at my aunt's place. Mm -hmm. uh, so my aunt has a computer shop, okay, print shop and so on. So since I couldn't do anything between that period, December and so on, yeah, because people are not moving and so on, I decided, you know what? Let me type my book, the one I've been writing every yep. day. Let me type it. So I start typing, and I type and I type until I'm done. Okay. <laughs> couple of I think it was more than 100 pages yeah and then I decided to make it an ebook so the goal was to make it an ebook and sell it but okay now how does how 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 does this system work 
because um how does the ebay system work because now you're talking about how no i'm still i'm still sitting on the ebay idea okay, okay. i'm still sitting on it I, I still don't know what to sell on ebay okay okay, okay? uh but then at my aunt's place i've got access to computers now mm-hmm. so I, I, I had never owned a computer before then and you also have access to the internet minimal it's okay. limited so okay. you, can, you put a dongle and okay yeah it browse it was like i don't even know that it was what is what is what comes before 1g i don't know <laughs> g. edge g yeah. <laughs> yeah, edge. <laughs> so yeah uh so oh, i'm writing funny. i write my stuff i put it online uh, with the hope that it will blow up and people will buy it nothing not even one not even one <laughs> i've never sold anything and I, eventually i give up on that mm. okay but then uh, in 2008 and I think it's eight, we go back to school now So when you go back to school now you're talking about methodist yeah okay uh-huh. you're talking about meth- i'm i mean your your pre university yeah, yeah i mean i mean yeah. meth- i mean methodist now so now I've, i've 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 i'm still trying to remember exactly at what point i started doing the e-commerce thing but uh i remember what i what happened is i started getting a lot of uh so i started doing a lot of research and i noticed current now to this day people call it drop shipping So drop shipping is where you've got people in any country that are selling stuff and you can take that stuff put it on your site and also sell it. Mm. Okay? Mm. But back then I don't think it had a name so you had I had some Chinese dude that would send me pictures uh and then I would upload these pictures on my Facebook page uh, uh I was still creating a site and then people would buy this stuff. Mm. At that particular point I used to finance everything 100%. But so you like marketing Yeah. So basically exactly. Somebody exactly. else has the product and yeah. they're bringing in the product to the country. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you are just popularizing. Exactly, it. yeah. Okay. So and 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 that's how I learned how to first of all I learned a lot when it came to customs because now I'm starting to bring things in. Aha, uh-huh. okay. okay. Let's go slowly on this. Yeah. First and foremost, how old are you at this time? 20 something 20 is it am i even 20 it's 80 you're born in 80 you're 20 yeah, you're I'm just 20, entering yeah. 20 it's yeah. 2008 yeah huh? exactly yeah okay so um the, how do you even find these chinese let's start there <sighs> i don't know i don't know you can't i just remember. went online no <laughs> i just went online and I, and i and i started what did i do to find these guys man i can't really remember Okay, number two. Go But ahead. I remember how good that relationship grew to the point where they were giving me free stuff for myself. So if you order some consignment, uh-huh. they'd be like, "Oh, you put in two extra shoes for you." <laughs> And, hey. Okay, by the way, we'll get to that because get your there. sales must have been doing good for them to do that. No. They were just consistent. Okay. Yeah. Um number two, what were you selling? I was selling so I started with shoes. Aha, uh-huh, shoes. Shoes, so, then I moved on to bags and then Okay, I, okay. So wait, even be bro, slowly. CTA, okay. CTA, uh, you know the right, drill. Uh, <laughs> so you you get these shoes from these guys. Uh-huh. How do you get the shoes? Where do you go? Because you're talking about learning about customs. Oh yeah. So so they send me pictures. Okay? I put these pictures online on my Facebook page. Yeah. I don't so, have a so website. So me and Derek say we want three of those shoes. Yeah. Then what happens? So I'll send the guys pictures back. I'll be like, "Oh, my customers have selected these pictures from your catalog." How much is it? Then they tell me this is it. Oh, then I'm like, "Okay, cool. I wire you the cash Western Union. I send you the money." From your own cash. Yeah. All so, this time, all this time I'm gambling on school fees. Guys. <laughs> There's nothing like my own cash. Which cash? All yeah. this you from the get go. My mom funded my business and she didn't even know. <laughs> From the get go. From the get go it was always my school fees. Okay? I get it. That yeah. was good. So you so the customer hasn't given you cash? nothing, nothing. I of course because customers yeah, the, the trust yeah, level yeah, yeah. would agree. Yeah. So you use your own capital aka your school fees. Yeah. You you Western Union it to the Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't even understand why my mom trusted us with all that money. Anyway. So yeah, and I send it to the guys. The good thing is that the guys were legit businessmen. Yeah. And they send me the stuff, they send me a tracking number. How long does the stuff take to get a week to maximum? Okay, two, two. Yeah. Then EMS. Uh-huh. Yeah. Then you go to I go to customs. I create a network there. And then I I So the first time you go like of course they're charging I you. I didn't UK. go myself. Oh. So I had an uncle that he still does the same thing. Oh, okay. So he's the guy I I told you know what? I'm doing this business every time I'll, every day my staff gets here I'll pay you 500 shillings 
you go negotiate and get them for me. <laughs> and that's that's how my uncle and I created that relationship. I don't even know how we're related. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how we're related. But you know. <laughs> but I know we've got a bond. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. I hear nowadays he still asks about me. I'll go visit him when I go back to Kenya. You, <laughs> you uh, he'll be proud. Yeah. You, you, so you get the products. Yeah. But now it's about the customer. So what happens? Distribution now. You, now. Now, you, now you've got this thing. And do you put a markup? Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Because I'm just like. First of all, let's forget. Let's, let's not forget that at this particular point, I've got zero knowledge when it comes to financial literacy. Zero. <laughs> okay. Yes. So I don't know anything about markups. I don't know anything about my margins. Nothing. Maybe I just want to make the customer happy. I think I mean I thought I was in the happiness business. Yeah. So even if I was making a loss, I didn't really care. Oh man. So the things come. The customers are like, oh, and you know, a lot can happen between the time you buy something and the time it lands. Yeah. Exchange rates can change, and you know, and that's why you see prices fluctuating because if an exchange rate the changes, dollars, yeah. yeah you're supposed to price that product from the time it landed based on your cost of landing. Yeah. But me, cost of purchase. Even if I yeah, bought yeah, yeah, like yeah. three, four, one month ago. And you're not even marking up that price. No, I, I think I was, but by... Nothing. By nothing. Like, Normally you're supposed to mark up by 100%. Yeah. Because you assume your cost is, let's say, 50%. But, eh, man, where am I? Kama and Ilkuzia Supra 4,000 one month ago. Hey, I brought in a lot of Supras, by the way. Do you know that shoe? Yeah. I brought in so many. People actually know me for that. I brought in so many Supras. Anyway, so yeah. And, and so they land, I distribute, I make a loss. Okay? Yeah. And then when I make a loss, uh, school fees still has to be paid. Yeah. To my sister now. So my sister has Top funded, off. my sister has funded so much of my business. And she knows this. This is the time. My sister was going through some some dental thing and she mm. needed money. So my mom sent her money to go do some surgery, I guess. And yeah. she gave me all that cash. Nine Gs, I remember. And that was not even the first. We normalized it. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, rent in a two more. Every day was the time. We will come back to this. This is the time it got so bad that I even sold stuff. In the house? In the house. <laughs> For this business, yeah, and I was so young. Can you imagine? I'm, I'm, I'm auctioning myself, <laughs> and I'm 2021. 20, hmm? Oh man, man. that's crazy. Ish. So, okay, so but this business picks up like the demand, yeah, yeah, it grew, it became popular. People knew me for stuff, yo. But now, did you start getting clever enough to say, like, hey, I need to mark up this, I need to do this? Like, I did, I can't, I can't, these losses can't be, you can't continue. I, 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 I th- not really, not really. And also, people are getting clever and now starting. They started people that new business started importing stuff too. So I had to be competitive now. Oh man! Yeah. So you. But couldn't... why are you keeping on if you're making losses? Or did you just love selling it? What no, you... I was in the happy business. <laughs> <laughs> people, people I used to make people happy. Yeah. Okay. And I, I don't. I think I like the fact that I had a business. Mm. I didn't. I didn't mind the fact that I didn't have a profitable business. You just had the, you liked the fact, it's like you had an internal love for entrepreneurship. Excuse me. Yeah, 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 I had passion for that, man. Okay. Passion. And then now, I go the next step and build a website called Afshon.com. Okay. We, we're, we're coming to that website, but at this time I want to know, are you in school? Yeah, everything okay. I'm doing so in the school. So the same time you're starting um, this business, you're also yeah. starting school? Yeah. Okay, so in school. So I'm active, I'm active in school. I was very, I was very active in school. And what are you doing in school? International business. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now this, this is in Methodist. Methodist. So I did, did the same in USA too. Okay, after this you went to USA. Yeah. So you do international business at Methodist. Yeah. Okay. And at the same time you're doing this international business so that you can get more credit so that yeah. you can go to USA. You, exactly, yeah. You're, you've started this uh, Supra's business. Yeah, AKA. I'm importing handbags, perfumes. I think they were fake perfumes, by the way. Yes. Sorry to my what? customers. You gave them fake. <laughs> I, I think they were fake perfumes because, <laughs> because looking at it in the price point now, now it doesn't make any sense. Mm. Yeah, but it, it could be. So uh, when you're doing, so these things they've got what they call, I think it's A-class replicas. Mm. So they look 100% like the actual product. But okay. they're not. I don't want to say they're not. <laughs> 
I will not I will never accept more tonight. <laughs> like, we'll just yeah. go to a class. Yeah. <laughs> Replicate. But 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 man, I I I brought in some good so stuff. So what what else did you diversify to? And so why did you diversify? Everything. Why everything. is it is it the people were asking? Yeah, but also they used to send me some really good stuff. They would send me some good anytime there's a new release like of shoes, mm. all this brands. Or they send you to to test the market. Yeah, all these brands, Ed Hardy's, all these men, some nice sunglasses. Some nice Adidas, some nice Nikes, some Supras. Ish. This anytime anything gets released in the market, yeah. they send it to me. And they just tell you. And I had some I was importing some good looking stuff, man. So okay, so what kind of sales are you doing? What kind of revenues are you bringing in? Like at some point I was doing 100 Gs every 2 weeks. 2 weeks. Yeah. My there's a story I did it in on on Nation Media. Yeah. Don't know whether you guys have seen it. I think it's online. Yeah, clearly I have. <laughs> And that was when I was doing that business. And I used to every month I used to do at least 200 Gs. Yo. Yeah, and I would lose all of it. But you're, but this <laughs> is fuck I was going to say this but this is a loss. Yeah. So you you've So out of, out of the 200 Gs, yeah. You would it it's coming but you will you will invest another 40,000 in it yeah. and lose it at the same time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. And I, now of course you're getting students from school. Yeah. Most of my customers are students. Mm. Yeah. But you know how I learned there's one thing I learned when I was doing the super business. How to transition your customers from your one of your businesses to another business. Aha. Yeah. Okay, uh, now is this now where you build So I moved I, I created creating a journey with my 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 customers. That's powerful. Yeah. So, aha, uh-huh. okay, okay. Let's talk about that. now we can talk about the transition into the website. Yeah. So, you, why do you decide to build the website? Because my eBay idea I'm like you know what eBay might not fly here because first of all whatever I'm selling just didn't work. Why don't I just go ahead and build my own customized website? Okay. And call it afshon.com. So that's what I did. Who is it called? Afshon. The the your get So I, I took I took African and I took fashion and I combined them and they became Afshon. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's how I got the name. So afshon.com you built yeah, it. I built it. How did I you paid build it? I paid a guy called Lawrence from my school fees again. <laughs> <laughs> to build to build my website so i look for lawrence he just got married he was in mombasa i told him okay uh since you, you you're going through your honeymoon right now and you can't leave i'll come there jump on a bus i just told my sister i'm coming <laughs> yeah got a backpack j- jump on a bus went to meet lawrence this when you began your traveling eh? yeah <laughs> you know my sister even up to this day i used to tell my sister i'm coming and i would go to the airport jump on a flight and leave and come back whenever i'm coming back yeah 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 okay let me ask and this okay no continue the story so you go to mombasa i go to mombasa this guy's on his honeymoon yeah like i can't wait <laughs> <laughs> I can't. i'm coming i can't wait and you know our school holidays used to allow us two weeks yeah uh, you know uh, the uh, this private university mm. two weeks you're back to school so those two weeks you have to do as much as you can so i went By the time I was coming back one week later, nilikuwa na couple of things and I think some bill a day. And I spent like three, I paid him I think I paid him 5 Gs or between 5 and 10 and I spent maybe 2 Gs 3 Gs on myself because the whole thing cost me like 10k. By the time I was coming back I had a functional website. Afshon.com. Afshon.com. So where did you how did you buy the domain? Or now you, He bought it for me. Okay, okay. Yeah. It was part of the package. It was part of the package. And he designed yeah. it. He designed it. He just took one of these templates. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, there's no designing there. It's all good. Yeah. You, you, and, I, and I was fascinated by what he did. What what did you want the website to do? <sighs> just I wanted it to be an e-commerce website. I just wanted it to display stuff and people would be able to order. But there was one thing that was missing, the most important element, payments. Integration of payments. Integration of payments. Yeah. But I knew of PayPal, yeah. I was back then before people knew PayPal or what PayPal is mm. and I knew you could integrate there and people would use their cards credit cards to pay but but ah but in fact I had to ask you this question but is PayPal that big in Kenya no people don't know PayPal leave alone PayPal people don't even have visa credit cards card. yeah, yeah, yeah yeah they don't have visa and credit cards and master cards no nothing they, it's mpesa integration that's that's what I no, thought you were talking about no it's not no i thought no i thought you no oh. i know mpesa right now has integrated safari comment and PayPal enter the relationship yeah, now where there's where there's beautiful integration yeah, between the two yeah, that's how i send money to kenya yeah even me i enjoy yeah. i enjoy using people donations sometimes yeah. come through people but my question is at this time you're talking to the local kenyan like they have even till now they very few understand what people is yeah 
So, but you were building and the payment integration was going to be... It was going to be there. And it, I added it. Okay. It was just like a plugin. But, I mean, even the website itself, it was way ahead of its time. Uh-huh. Oh, you were too ahead of your yeah. time. Yeah, I get it. Because... And this is 2009, 2008? Yeah, 2000 and I was transitioning now to 2009. Okay. It was still a lot happened in 2008. Okay. So yeah, this is when I'm building the site. Uh, so I, I, I now become a professional business. I get my own branding when it comes to bags, delivery bags. Uh, but, but I'm still... But I'm are st people ordering? Yeah, a lot. So when they order, they don't pay? They What they write to you and tell you, I'll pay you on delivery? Yeah, we'll pick it up when it lands. And you know what I did? Part of my school fees again, I went and got myself a small office. <laughs> By Norwich, Norwich Union. Yeah, I don't know, Union, yeah. yeah. Seventh floor is where I used to go to the cyber. Yeah, opposite that cyber. <laughs> oh, so what, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> Second floor, yeah. so there were two cybers facing, facing each other. There was a cyber on the right side. And then the guy on the right side, his cyber wasn't doing too well. So he petitioned the yes. cyber. And the rest, he made them into some some offices. Yeah. Like a small room was there. And I was, can you imagine I was paying 10 Gs a month for that small room? Yo. That's so, 10 Gs. And you're, okay, ah, yeah, you're, you're still, you're 20 still. Yeah. So, you, so, how was your, I'm trying to understand the functionalities of your website. Because I know this plays a part in later on. Yeah. So, and or this was a training ground without you knowing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, people would log on to Ash. Option. Option.com. And they see bags, handbags, uh, shoes, belts. Select like category and all that. But also at this particular time, even if I have a website, my traditional side of the business is doing better. Uh -huh. that, that's, uh, the also WhatsApps, the website is not really yeah, picking up. No. That's the WhatsApp. It's what you've been known yeah, for. Facebook, DMs here and there, phone calls. Yeah. That is what is working. Uh, uh, okay, okay, yeah. I get it, I get it. So now because of the amount of business you're getting, you decide to get an office. Yeah. Do you get any employees? I think I had one assistant, receptionist. <laughs> yeah, I did. So, so you get him. And she came in as an intern. <laughs> <laughs> she said she wanted to intern for, for, for Afshon brand. I used to call myself Afshon brand, for Afshon brand. And she came, she used a small desk. She used to sit there. So you get an office and a small desk. Mm. Yeah, at this time I'd convince So what she's mind. answering is she's doing the posting on social media? No, nothing. She's just there. When you come for your shoes, she gives them to you. All of you this, pay. it's you now who's on social So you're the one who's doing the digital marketing. I'm doing marketing. everything. I'm doing everything. You're the one who's engaging. Which digital marketing? Which there was no marketing. There was nothing. It was like a hobby. <laughs> there, there was, let me let me tell people, they, let's not magnify it. <laughs> it is not, it wasn't big. <laughs> it wasn't big. Okay. Because even if I was doing all that money, first of all, if you're doing 200 Gs a month yeah. and a product is, let's say, 4,000, how many products do you need? Dude, that's what I, that, you are 20. Don't downplay this. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, you know, 20 years old, doing different things. <laughs> yeah. So that's what she would do. All right, make sure the office is clean. When I meet my boys there, she's there to offer us anything we need, water. And it was, <laughs> it was weird because it was just one small room yeah. with a couch, and this couch was... A chair, a card chair, uh, going from a bus, matatu. Yeah. Yeah, and and, and, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. Where where we'll continue with this story? We'll take a bathroom happen? break actually. Okay, no problem. Let's take let's take a quick break. Yeah. We'll be back. Ah.